Since 1976, the Washington Ballet has been a staple in the Washington, D.C. arts community. Since becoming the ballet's artistic director in 1999, Septime Weber has infiltrated the institution with boundless energy. Septime's always bring a, a very high energy to everything he does. And um, he makes sure that he challenges the dancers all the time to do better technically and artistically. Septime has brought the classic ballet that people know of ballet to the new level of entertainment and still using the classical vocabulary with a little twist to make people experience a little bit more than just the pure classic ballet. The development of the dancer is key to Weber's vision. The ballet has served to develop and refine the confidence that's needed in order to approach and execute dancing as a serious endeavor. The team-like environment that is unique to the Washington Ballet is where we see Weber stretching the boundaries by including vibrant contemporary choreography from dance icons. Mr. Weber has also choreographed many works for the company, including Cinderella, Where the Wild Things Are, Peter Pan, and The Nutcracker, where dancers and audiences alike experience a new telling of some of our most classic tales. Early on, as a creative strategy, Weber admits to finding music first or the visual image of what he desired for a piece of choreography. But now he sees his work with a greater sense of responsibility to the institution, making choices based on the works that the institution needs to achieve its mission. After Mary Day, founder of the Washington School of Ballet, retired her nutcracker, the opportunity arose for Septime Weber to impart his ideas on just how it should be done. This new Nutcracker premiered in December 2008 and is set in historic Washington, D.C. For example, what is usually an Arabian duet became a dance for two Anacostia Indians. With this choice, Weber found a way to creatively demonstrate to Washington audiences that the Anacostia River is an important part of our city and our heritage that for far too long has been a geographical division for Washingtonians. When we began planning the Nutcracker, uh, I knew that one of the central values I wanted us to have was um, one of community and that the Nutcracker would be really about Washington, D.C. and reflect the unique face of our community. That means that we have not only students at the Washington School of Ballet, but kids from our Dance D.C. program um, and uh, students at our programs at the Ark in Anacostia, all coming together, working with our professional dancers and also notable guests from the community and cameo appearances that this kind of coming together of the whole community seemed to be um, at the center of what we're about as an institution. In fact, this example of community engagement is central to the Washington Ballet's mission, which has three components. First is to build and maintain a national level ballet company. Second is the school. The Washington School of Ballet, which has an important place in the international landscape, thanks to founder Mary Day, has delivered generations of great dance artists. Third is the outreach programs, which connect the company to the social fabric of Washington, D.C. The program provides 500 youth in four different public elementary schools throughout the district with ballet training free of charge. Focusing on youth in first and second grade, the program encourages the matriculation of students who demonstrate the discipline and desire to train at the Washington School of Ballet to be able to do so. As a ballet dancer, we always start our day with a daily class. We start with plies and um, in a way, developing an institution like the Washington Ballet is kind of like that daily class. You get at it every day, little by little. And at, at the end of you know, eight years, suddenly you're in a, in a new place. And that's nice. Septime Weber.